hey everybody, Fluffy Puma here, and we are back with our favorite simulator, the power washing simulator. I have a controller. It's fine. Everything's great now. So I went ahead, if you didn't notice, I went ahead and I took care of the uh, little motorbike one. It didn't, it didn't take long. It was like eight minutes. But the reason I did that was so I could test this new controller. Huge shout out to mom for let me borrow hers. So we're going to go ahead and hop right into this and let me get quickly adjusted. Do, 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 do. Uh, shoulder pickup toggle. Okay, the toggle. Okay, cool. Toggle's a little different. Wow. Y'all are. Wow. It is. I'm glad you're here. Calvin's such a good boy. He's a vol volcanologist, you know. Dolores. Hi, Dolores. Well, your son Calvin sounds great. He's the one that told me about y'all, you know. I don't know if I'm... A I've been portraying my character as a, a male. A male named Mike, to be more specific. Um, am I a female? Is who am I? I uh, Mike is Mike is taken. Thank you very much. Do do do. This is gonna be a lot. Oh look, I get a big ladder too. At least it's not the whole yard like that last house. Lord. Okay, so it's just literally the outside of the house. Got it. This shouldn't be... This should not be as difficult as the last one. Uh, and it looks like we're going to have to definitely... I wonder if I use... Okay. Oh, okay. I just learned something. I'm sorry. I said okay so many times in one sentence. That just kind of shocked me. Gotcha. Yeah, this this should be... This will probably be simple. It doesn't look like it's any of the hard grime like that last one that we saw. But I think this is a great time as I start working on this house up and down. I start telling y'all about the next it's time for our favorite subject. The next thing I almost took off with a power washer. Uh, let's see. I told you about my toe. That was the very first incident with the power washer. The next time uh, I mean I was relatively careful because dad talked to me about the rules and stuff which of course I didn't follow as a child, but I knew them. Let's see, the toe, and then there was, mm, I think I almost cut off my ex's finger. Well, I mean, I, I wasn't trying to. I don't think I cut off his finger. I, I, I cut his finger pretty good though. He had a scar. We did a lot of stupid shit. Uh, I put ice, uh, dry ice on his hand. Then we did the salt and ice cube challenge on him where you put the salt and then the ice and then you squeeze. Oh my gosh, it left a huge burn like right in the center of his palm. Couldn't use his hand for a while. It was crazy. Uh, we did the Carolina Reaper challenge with a couple of our friends because we don't care about the livelihood of our stomachs. enough about that. Hit that corner. Okay, I see where we're definitely going to have to get up on the roof to get in those gutters and everything, because if we know anything about the game, it is a... It loves to make your OCD work overtime. Did I get... No. Good lord. 
Anyway, back to pressure washing. Mostly, I was a decent kid with it. Oh, yay! I got a wall done. I guess the only other time was the big one where I, like, I cut 98% into my cheek. And how I did not come out with a bigger scar than I have, I do not know. I'm going to accept the fact that I took very good care of my... Up to this point, as much scratches and cuts and burns and scrapes and stuff that I had, I was pretty good at nursing my, you know, wounds. So let's see. It was this cheek. It's over in this area. It's very light. My acne is acting up right now. <laughs> so you can't really see it that great. Um, we were, again, pressure washing something for Dad. And... It was really humid. And so what we were doing was that we were, as we were getting something done, and we were uh, waiting for the next piece of equipment to come out to be cleaned, we would depressurize the gun so it's not spraying like this. It's spraying more like, like that, where it's really light. So we would depressurize it and then spray each other down, kind of like with a mist effect, just to kind of give us some air, you know? Well, I forgot to, he forgot to, de he forgot to depressurize it. And of course, at this, I thought he had, because we've been doing it. And I told him to aim right here, and it didn't. So it came out like this. And, it, and look, I dodged, and that's why it shot here. And all I remember was there was a lot of blood in my hand, and I started panicking. And I went in, and I showed my dad. And yeah, it was stupid. It was so stupid. I was bawling my eyes out. There was people there eating their food. They didn't want to see that. Went home. Mom helped me clean it up. Cellulite. It was down... I mean, it was to the point I could stick my tongue and you could see the skin on the inside of my cheek bumping out of the scar. It was like, again, probably needed stitches. Probably did. Did I get them? No, because we don't believe in that stuff. But it was fine. Uh, and, you know, he apologized profusely. And took care of me the whole entire time because it was a little tough eating, like opening my mouth really wide to chew. So, you know, he'd make soft foods for me and, or, you know, it, you know, he, I mean, he took care of me to, to be fair, he took care of me. And, but yeah, that was probably the stupidest thing I ever did with a power washer, honestly. It, I was, again, not a smart kid, and I should, I should have acted better. And I can't say mom doesn't know about that, because she saw it firsthand. She saw the blood. So, take that, mom. I didn't wait four months that time. You know, not like all the other stuff I've done that you don't know about. And, yeah. Although, I think at this point, if I remember, you've pretty much caught up on everything. I think you have. Connor would have to help me. Connor would ha have a better answer to that than I would. I want to say yes, but I could be wrong. I don't keep a marker on this stuff. If I do something stupid and I forget it, that's probably for the best. It really is. Okay. Well, this side looks great. <laughs> this is gonna be a minute. Hmm. Okay. Finally. That one took like forever. But I finally got this hole back down. I didn't. I like leaving it, you know, gotta leave it clean. Gotta look good. Hey, Mama! Well, 
One side down. Four more to go. Lovely. But you can already see the difference. It's going to be great. See? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that difference. Oh, <gasps> I can kick the ball. Boop. Or can I pressure wash it? Is there a goal somewhere? No, you just got a random ball. This is my ball now. Oh. Well. I'm surprised. This looks like a really nice neighborhood. I'm surprised the HOA didn't say something before about this home. Just, just saying. Like, I feel they would be like, hey guys, hey. Calvin's parents. Uh, know that you're proud of your kid for being a vul vulcanist. Or vulcanist. But, uh, you know, probably should take care a little bit better of your house. It's the dirtiest one in the neighborhood. And, you know, we don't want to be those neighbors. But, uh, yeah. My voice kind of just turned into the Karen as I said that. <sighs> it haunted me. So it's turning out pretty good, though. And I saw the, uh, the extras you can do. I think I might check one of those out on video. You can clean a Mars rover. And I thought that looked interesting. And there was a leprechaun thing. There was a lot of extra little, like, things that were not... I like that it's not DLC. You don't gotta purchase it. See, that's how it beats the lawn mowing simulator. That's why I'm... I like that it's, I have this game. And then Mom bought me Escape Simulator, which we will probably check out after this one, after I'm done with this game. Eh? I don't know how I ended up. I love that I, I got so distracted by that. Along with my my OCD, I also have ADHD, which means that I'll intensely hyperfocus and then be completely random. Because I was gonna start on that side, because I'm that's why I made those lines, and uh, now I'm suddenly on the garage. This is a tiny garage. I'm looking at it. This is a tiny, tiny little garage. Maybe I'll do. I'll do this side. I might do the roof already. I might, yeah, I might do this side and then go this way and then I'll leave this. And. Hello. Oh, it's a cat! I was memeing. I was watering the kitty cat. Cool. Oh yeah, we gotta make a... Let's see. I did a heart last time. Let's draw a kitty cat, since there's a kitty cat. Um, let's do it on... Let's do it on this wall. So he needs ears. There we go. You know, it ain't the best kitty cat I've ever drawn. I like it though. He's got some cute whiskers going on for him. got some lopsided ears. He's an outdoor kitty. 
You know, he's seen, he's seen some stuff. And then a nose. And... The kitty ooh ooh mouth. There, see? He's so cute. Nice. So we'll clean him off after, you know, we get done with this. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we'll start working our way around. That was in honor of you, Mr. Kitty Cat on the Roof. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed our lovely art portfolio. It is amazing, I know. Snakey snake. Eee! I don't know what I'm going to do to the roof as I sit here and scratch my eye. And continuing. You know, I was sitting here cleaning this. I was starting to clean Kitty. Hi, Kitty. And I realized that's probably, that right there is probably why this house looks like this. When, when was the last eruption, sirs and madams? Also, during the cut, um, I got a text message from the per the owner, or the brother, or the son of the owners, and he said that his father was so excited. Apparently, in their world, he's got a rocking chair out here, and he is rocking on the back porch, enjoying the view. Oh, kitty. Hello. Goodbye, kitty. You were so adorable. You had a rough start, but you know what? It was, you have a clean finish. You're awesome and amazing. This took a lot longer than I expected it. I mean, I don't know how long I was expecting since I had to power wash a whole entire dang house. I think this is it after I beat this wall. I did a lot of cutting. I was like, you know what? They don't want to see me. And I ain't got nothing to talk about. Yeah. 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 So close. And I got the edge done. there and then I think we got the freaking park after this and it's just like whew. yes nice and boom You saw nothing. It was just the house. Oh, look, there I am. I was cleaning the roof. Got all this done. Got all nice and clean. Yes. The bungalow looks amazing. Doc, thank you. You won't believe the impact it's had. Ma's done down the woods picking flowers, and Pops is muttering excitedly about another job he's got for you. So if you hear from a Leonard Miller, that'll be him. Thanks, Calvin. I am excited to work with your father. Okay, yeah. So look, uh, completed. These are all the ones I completed. So we have this one next. But look at the specials! Clean the gnome fountain. Clean the steam locomotive. Clean the whole entire mini golf course. And then clean the Mars rover. That looks exciting. Do you get paid for these? No. Maybe. You do not. Ah, I can't sell. No multiplayer. So next time, in career mode, we will be hitting up this playground, and then we might get something from Calvin's dad. We'll have to, you know, we'll have to wait and see. 
But thank you all so much for coming by and watching me play this exciting, relaxing game. I am loving it. It's just a very, it's soothing, you know, just to sit here, spray, every once in a while use a soap. It makes it just a little bit better and I'm trying not to yawn and it's failing. I'm so relaxed I got tired. <laughs> I will see y'all next time and I hope that you have as much fun pressuring, pressure washing as I do. Later guys.